We know you love our DIYs. Today is all about DIY, whether you're looking for a beautiful kitchen that is very friendly for cooking, or if you're looking to dress your walls up and create that farmhouse look at home, we got it all. We're starting with our DIY guru, Leanna Lair Perot. Come on in here. How are you, honey? I'm good. good to see you. Good to see you, too. So, you have gone crazy with crates. Yes. And I like that crate you did crazy. that. It's crate crazy <laughs> because people can afford crates. They're Absolutely. accessible, they're everywhere, and there's so many things you can do with them to get a really specific kind of look in your kitchen. It's really endless what you can do and even beyond the kitchen they, they're kind of the perfect storage solution because they come in just a raw wood most of yes. the time so really you can customize and create whatever look you want. Right. So I've been wanting to do a crate project for some time and of course I hit up Pinterest where I get mm. a lot of inspiration and found some amazing images that Oh my gosh. Yes. It is incredible. And what I love about it is there's so there's been so much focus on farmhouse style yeah. as being a trend. And I really don't buy into that. No. I don't think it's a trend. I think it's really a design staple because it's there are elements used within farmhouse style that are translatable. You bring a farmhouse element into a modern interior and yeah. it just gives it such a beautiful layer. It's sort so, of that rustic, uh, you know, it feels textured, it feels more warm. Exactly. There's something about it's it. It's casual sophistication. Yes. Which I it think is. everybody is striving for in their yeah. home. They want things to look pretty, but they don't want to have to baby them. That's so right. So that's why this look is really the perfect evolution of style to really fit the lifestyles that we, we desire in our home. Absolutely. I want to see some of these pictures. Yes. We've I got three beautiful images. pictures. Um, and this, the first one is just about jewelry and hanging purses yes. and handbags. It's gorgeous. Like, oftentimes, if you're in a condo or mm. a smaller space and you don't have a dedicated front hall closet, I love something like that. Or even in a walk-in closet. Yes. Sometimes, depending on door swings, you don't have rooms to a room to put in the depth of rods. Mm -hmm. So why not use something a little more shallow that you can install on the wall and use as storage cubbies? Absolutely. Which I think is great. Uh, there's also I don't know wine if you're into that. <laughs> Look at that Imagine, beautiful wine cellar. So this is in I believe it's in a restaurant or a cafe, which yeah. is actually really an evolution to the farmhouse. I'm seeing more of this cafe market look. Me too. And I think that in a basement, yes. in any blank wall all of a sudden like you give that vineyard look to the space yeah. where it looks like a little wine cellar just tucked away and it can just be that one feature wall and there's so much controversy on feature walls are out of trend if you do them right yeah they are bang on that's there's right. no such thing as a feature wall being out of trend and who cares about the trends do what you want in exactly. your house it's your house the best trend is what you love don't do what that's people right. tell you to do, do Absolutely. What, if it looks right then it is right to that's you. right yes. okay let's look uh, about the crates having crates in the kitchen a lot yes. of people have beautiful contemporary kitchens but this is really the way so, to give it timelessness. This blew my mind because oftentimes when people are doing let's call them like big box or prefab kitchens. Yes. Not all the measurements measure out That's for true. doors. And sometimes you're left with that little blank area and you're like, what the heck do I do with that? Or do yeah. I forego some extra space, storage space? Adding in something custom and built in that is a conversation piece, mm -hmm. like the sliding crates. Oh my gosh, like easy DIY, but all of a sudden you've taken a big box kitchen and elevated it and give it, given it a customized look. Absolutely. Super custom. It looks very intentional. Right? I wanted it, it like that. Exactly. And of course, we're not talking about the crates here that you used in college. These <laughs> crates are really nice. <laughs> Although I've done some pretty cool, cool projects with this yes, too. Yes, you have. But we're looking at more of this curated oh, feel gorgeous. with the crates. So these were all simple flat pack IKEA crates. And what I love about them is that they come flat pack because yeah. they work perfectly for painting and staining. We'll talk mm, about that in a little bit. Okay. But I just wanted to show, we had in our in our old kitchen a wall that, again, wasn't deep enough for standard count cabinet depth. Something like this would have been the perfect storage solution. Again, the cubby space. Yeah. And I love this because all of a sudden the items that are tucked inside the cupboard, you can now put your everyday items on display. So you're actually making use out of them. Mm -hmm. Little cookbooks. I, I went, I added the little personalized touch. Hero and, and Co. Hero and Co. And nice. then established 2004, which love is the it. year that we got married. I'm all about just oh, adding in lovely. those little extra touches. Yeah. But I think the key was mixing the paint and the stain finishes together mm -hmm. so that they're not just what you might think of as the college raw wood yeah, shelving and right. these were so easy to install um, really fast project but I thought not everybody has the wall for storage 
how can you add that market feel into your kitchen mm -hmm. with a small investment but a great storage solution? So I came up with this idea. I had again seen some ideas online for these little produce carts. Oh, these and are I'm cute. I'm kind of obsessed with them because they not only look fantastic and add that little market fresh feel to yeah. your to your kitchen space, but they actually serve a really amazing functional purpose. You'll eat your veggies. You'll eat them. So yeah. forego the fruit bowl that takes up space on the counter. It's put true. everything out. I actually put both on casters so you can wheel them around. You as made you both want. of these? I made these oh. out of crates. Yes. Whoa, whoa, wow. Super simple. That is amazing. Super simple. That is incredible. So we all have the, the bottom drawer in the fridge, and it's called the slime drawer. Yes. We need to avoid the slime drawer. But here's the thing. There's a reason why it's a slime drawer, mm -hmm. because a lot of fruits and vegetables are not meant to go in the fridge. Oh, that's true. There tomatoes. Are a lot. Tomatoes, they get really mealy, yes. and they, they get a really gnarly texture yeah, when you keep gross. them in the fridge. So have them out. It not only takes up takes storage uh, out of your fridge, Coffee. takes the bulk out of your fridge, yeah. but it puts things where you can see them, and you're more likely to use them instead of digging through the produce drawer. And same thing with all the vegetables. So all of those potatoes, onions, cooling them, in, uh, keeping them in a cool space that yes. doesn't have a lot of light is great. This, you can see, I've actually just removed some of the slats along the front. So yeah. these all stack. They're easy to move around and again nice. on casters, but then added in the little chalkboard. And you can it's see we've tough. got a little vampire repellent there. Yeah, some tear got some tear jerkers. So you can have fun. I love a little bit of whimsy in the space. That's nice. So, absolutely simple to create. Yes. And so affordable. I haven't done the math, but let's okay. just call this one. Under fifty dollars. Under for fifty this. bucks. Under fifty dollars, and you could stack. You could go double wide with this yeah. and screw them together, and it's almost like a movable floating kitchen island with storage as well for you. Here, you have oh, that. <laughs> I know because listen, everyone's fighting something, and if we all eat more season. veggies, oh, that, we could recover from our colds a lot quicker. <laughs> My lunch is right there. Yes, right, you got it. So, uh, really good to have it out in the open. You can snack on it. And when in terms of making the personalized little pieces, you've got stencil yes. here. Well, there's a couple things that I just want to point out. Yeah. Really simple things. Yeah. When you're working with raw wood, whether you paint or stain, and I've stenciled uh, the stain one that's down there. If you could see in the front, the farm fresh that it says there. Yes. I prefer, I find I get better results from, <clears throat> excuse me, stenciling the letters first and then staining over top. Oh. So when you're stenciling, you want to use a low-tax spray adhesive so you get those nice crisp, crisp lines in comparison yeah. to, this was my first attempt at farm fresh, where I was like, I'm not going <laughs> to worry about the spray adhesive, and yeah. it bled really badly. Yes. So I like doing that first versus the paint tech Technique where you paint first and then stencil on top. The key is taking some sandpaper afterwards. And it's going to look like you're going to think like, oh, I'm ruining it. But once you go through mm -hmm. and give it that little distressed look, all of a sudden you're getting that age and patina. And then you take the hammer to it and beat all of your frustrations away. <laughs> to give it that distress. <laughs> Yeah. With the actual crate to make the first one there, all I did was take some wood and cut 30 degree angles at the top, and yeah. that's my immediate angle, and then just screwed them from the inside. And Beautiful. casters on the bottom, easy peasy. Oh my gosh, this project is good because you will eat more veggies and yes. you will have no more aggression. <laughs>